Before we get into the video, I just thought I'd let you guys know that I've released a new song called Worms, and I've posted a music video very recently, and, you know, people uh, have been saying, you know, oh, no, this is the best song ever. This is your best song and the best music video. I want to I wanna kiss you on the forehead. They've been saying that, so, you know, go check out the music video before watching this video. Please, thanks. Hello, underachievers. Welcome to my room! For some reason, you guys have kept asking me for a room tour. Forever. I'm not sure why you want to know where I live, and you've probably seen it on all my social media because this is the only place I ever am. But yes, I moved here with Cory in February, but this is just my room. Shall we start by the door? Yes, nods the camera. Here's a poster of Anya Taylor-Joy. And you may be wondering, why is it behind my door and why do I have a poster of her? Well, when I realized I was bisexual, I was like, oh, I should do something about it. So I ordered a poster of Leonardo DiCaprio and Anya Taylor-Joy, but the Leonardo DiCaprio poster was really bad quality, so I put it in the bin and then I felt weird about having her on my wall. Not sure why, it just felt weird. It reminded me of like going to people's works and they had like naked calendars of women, even though she's not naked. We'll move on, but there's Anya Taylor-Joy. We have this really cool wall. I really like this cool wall. Here's some framed artwork that Phoenix gave me for my birthday. This is the uh, Tory O nose. And then we also have Newt Loops, which is from the Mind Blank No Thoughts music video. <laughs> then we have my guitars. This is a Taylor GS Mini. I got it at some point. And then here is a Mustang Player 90. It's my favorite guitar ever. And whenever I play, I strum really hard. So I keep flicking the switch. So we have to tape it. And then my friend, uh, prison style tattoo did this on the artwork. I think it's very cool. It's my favorite thing ever. We got a skateboard. Skateboards are always fun. I wish I could skateboard. Last time I skateboarded, I broke a rib and bruised my lung. Next we have my cupboard. This is where I keep my clothes. The skateboard's not usually there. I thought I'd tidy my room. This is my cupboard. We got some really cool hoodies. We got some sweatshirts up there. Then we got some dungarees down there. That's where I keep my dungarees. And then the bottom bit, uh, I keep rat things in there. You got rat food, you got rat snacks, dead mealworms, usual cupboard stuff. This cupboard has other cupboard things. It has jackets and shirts and bags and then shoes. Shoes are my favorite thing. That's actually a lie, but I do enjoy shoes and that's where I keep some of them. I actually have more outside of the bedroom. I have a shoe problem because I've had the same foot size since I was 12. So I've not really had a reason to throw shoes away. On top of the cupboard is where I keep some of my other guitars. Uh, these are my tour cases. Um, I also have a Fender Lead Player 3 in there and my first ever guitar, a Fender Squire Mustang, which I love and it's still got stickers on it. And then up here we have like my pedal board for tour, which I'm really excited about. Haha, <laughs> so yeah, funny story, uh, the tour did get postponed until September, so I'm sorry about that. But here are the new dates and the tickets are out now, so... If you do want to come see me, which I'm sure you do, I'm going to be playing new songs and holy sh**, I'm excited. Um, but yeah, if you want to see me in September, then click the link in my description and you can grab some tickets there. Next, we have my shelves. I've had this shelving unit since I was 10. It was in my childhood bedroom. First, we got some fake plants. We got some Funko Pops. We got Steve Irwin. We got Pennywise. And then we've got this thing that I stole from a... Duolingo thing where I met Duolingo. That was fun. Uh, and then we have my uh, presented to no offense for passing a hundred thousand subscribers play button. I hit a hundred K when I was still in school and then I never ordered the play button until last year. So this is new and cool to me. Then we got the middle section. We got a crystal that my mum got me. My mum likes to get me like really cute little rocky things. She's quite a rocky crystally lady. She's vegan and likes crystals and rocks and she does not like leather. Uh, we also got these candles from Leo Mateus. They're really cool. They're like trans candles uh, and they were molded by my friend Nate. He is so cool uh, and I love them so much. I actually have one of them as a necklace. Next to that we have this beautiful drawing that my mum made me. She's very creative. She signed it Karen. It's just a heart because she loves me. And I love her too. And that's always nice when you love someone and they also love you back. Next, we have this really cool cube area. It's the same as the other four, but we got a little group with a fake plant in it. And then we got this tortoise that my mum got me when she went on holiday. And this photo of me and Cory at a student pride event. We did a panel <laughs> about uh, trans love. It was very last minute. Um, we're not really very much about the love thing, but we still did it regardless and they sent us a nice photo. Then below that, we have something really, really cool. A bean candle. 
which everybody asks about. Um, I posted a TikTok showing off my bean candle. And you know what? I will tell you where it's from. I can't remember right now, but I'll put the link in the description if you want to get one. It's my favorite thing. Then next to that, we have the bookshelf, the, the, the shelf that shows that I am well read. It's full of books that I mostly haven't read, that I've, I've, I've maybe started a bit, um, or not even opened once. You know, we got It, which is one of my, I like the movie, never read the book. We got The Ethical Slut, which I bought because I was in a bookshop with my friend Club in Edinburgh, and somebody in the bookshop recognised me and said that it was a good book. So I got it, and I did read some of it. Um, and then we got some lovely Polaroids of my mum's dog, Pip. And my dad's dog Sadie. Then we have a we have a the the middle shelf. It's literally just full of lint roller, tape, toolkit, Hoover bag, puzzles, and then let love grow. These are like um they're called bee bombs. Pretty much you throw them just like anywhere, probably with ground, and they'll grow. And it says let love grow, and it's from our friend Luke and Rebecca's wedding. And I love them so much. Next, what's in this box? You ask. You'll never know. You'll never see inside it. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like, there's this pixel art that I think someone called Ruby gave to me at Sitsi. And then, you know, we got this piggy guy from the Mind Blank music video, we love him. Very fun, really. And then we have a Forrest Gump Funko Pop. I am so in love with this man. I'm sorry, Forrest. He is literally my favourite. I love Forrest Gump. It doesn't make me cry, not many movies make me cry, but it makes me feel feelings and emotions. We have... The miscellaneous shelf, which th there's more than one. You know, we've got a corn candle, a funky candle. I love candles. I don't think I've ever lit any of my candles because I don't want them to be misshapen. I like the shape they are. Uh, a little vinyl player that Jamie and Shaba got me, and then medical files, legal files. My, my deepest, darkest medical secrets in these files. I would love to read out some of my medical records to you. They're so f***ing funny. Um, and then we also have a, um, we have a, a large amount of Belgian chocolate microwave cakes that I was gifted to my P.O. box maybe three years ago. And I don't want to throw out because it'll make me feel bad. Um, but they're there and I've used them sometimes and they do taste good. Then, what's next? But irrelevant, irrelevant drawer. There's a, just, 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 just. It's irrelevant. Then we have, you know, supplements, medication, um, bit of a mess. But next to that, we have a wonderful kalimba that Corey got me. We got a xylophone that is featured on my new song, Worms. Listen to my new song, Worms. And then again, a lovely gift from my mother. She, she likes little gifts and so do I. It's just like a little house and it's got an electric candle in it. And when you have batteries in it, it lights up. And it's very nice. Next, we have a drawer of accessories. If you've ever seen me wear an accessory ever, it might have been in this drawer. And then below that, oh yeah, I have a makeup box and I don't wear any of it. Then, what do we have here? Now, if you're American, pay close attention to this. You're gonna wanna pay close attention to this. If you value me at all, or you, you just like merch kind of things, I have a bunch of posters. Um, that I signed. I think I signed 500 of them. And if you're in America, my record label is, uh, you know, sending them out. They're sending them out. So if you want one of them, click the link in my description and you can get a signed No Offense poster. I kept a few of them. I don't know why I kept that many. I don't know who they're going to, but that's always cool. Next to that, we have this drawer of, you know, electronics, guitar strings, Microphone underneath. You're very excited about this, I'm sure. My camera. Can I get some oohs and ahs? Ooh. And ah. ahs. Thank you. It's my camera. It's a Canon EOS 700D. It's not fancy schmancy at all. I'm pretty sure I got it in 2015, 2016, and it might have been secondhand. But I still use it for YouTube videos. And then, so it's got a Sigma lens that we bought off Evan and a Video Mic Pro microphone. That wasn't on purpose. Then, a Stratocaster. It's a Fender Strat. It's a Mexican Fender Strat, and I love it, and she's beautiful. And what's fun about it is that it's too big for my tiny little body. I look silly playing it. It's really in tune. It's a very good guitar. Um, sounds great, but I look silly in it. So that's why I ended up getting the Mustang, because it's got a smaller body, and I look like less of a dickhead playing it. Next to that, we have a ukulele, which does not belong to me. It's... <laughs> Dodies! Doddle Loddle's ukulele! Uh, when I go on tour, I tour with a guy called Pete Danes, who's a bassist and an incredible musician, and he plays in Dodie's band, and they're the. I, 
I needed a ukulele and it was borrowed, but now I have it. She doesn't want it back. <laughs> she doesn't want it back. Then we have an amplifier. It's a, it's a Fender Champion 40. Had this for a while, got it the same time I got this Stratocaster. Very good amplifier, very fun, very cool. If you didn't know this about me, it's a fun fact and I'm not insecure about it at all. I was a sports scholar. And nobody believes me when I said that, because I am small and scrawny, but remember I was a girl. Didn't didn't need to be huge to be a sports scholar, but I have sports equipment. I've got rounders, bats, balls, basketball, that's actually Corey's. Do you want it back? No, it was my ball now. Got a rugby ball, that's mine, and then we got some crutches. I got them when I broke my rib, which you wouldn't usually assume that someone with a broken rib would need crutches to walk, but I broke my rib and I fell so hard on my hip that I couldn't walk on it for like five days and Cry had to wheel me around on a wheelchair, but Luke hurt himself recently and he put socks on the crutches. And then behind that we got a hockey, a hockey stick that Phoenix got me, which is very lovely. And that's my sports area. After that we've got this, uh, we got this really cool denim jacket that YouTube sent me. Very cool. Now I know the question you were all thinking. No offence, what is on top of your shelves? I've never seen on top of your shelves. You must be hiding something up there. Well, gaze upon Mr. DeVito. He's a, it's actually a, a life-size cutout. Uh, but yeah, we got, we got Danny DeVito next to uh, my dead rat. Uh, yeah, I didn't really update you guys very much, but we have two dead rats. Uh, we have one living rat who's very old. Who's this? Should we guess? Okay, 50-50. Is this Scab or Alfie? Comment below. Scab or Alfie? Okay, three, two, one. Scab. <laughs> Pets dying isn't funny, but it is when you deal with trauma through humour. Then we have this wonderful llama that I don't know why it's in my room to be honest, it's Cory's and I'm pretty sure, did you buy it for your family? Yes. He bought it for his family and then he liked it himself, but not enough to keep it in his room, so it's in mine now. As you can probably tell, I like things. I like a lot of things. I am very understimulated and if I look around and there's not much to look at, I'll start crying. Who do you think this is? Alfie. They were, they were very beloved rats. And we did take really good care of them. They died of normal things rats die of. And they were very happy rats and we fed them lots of treats, but not too many. Um, but they had a great life and Bean is still rocking and rolling. He can't really walk, but he's having a great time. I'm not, I'm not just saying that. Here's a fun video of Bean eating a bean. Look. Bean, look, a bean. Got some plants. Um, I got really depressed and all the plants in my room and in the house kind of died a bit because uh, usually me and Cory like our depression like lines up so we were both a bit sad and all the plants died. Uh, but these are very hard to kill and they didn't die so I just told a lie but they got a bit ill. This one needs watering as well but we'll, we'll move past that. So what we have next is this massive bean bag. It's quite huge, quite big um, and it's leather but I didn't buy it. My dad bought this when I was maybe like 10 years old and it probably hasn't been washed since then. But I don't mind because it, it smells quite homely. Um, but I've got this bean bag and then you, oh yeah, wait hold on. Got this, got this baseball bat. This is from the Mind Blank No Thoughts music video <laughs> shoot. Very cool, we keep it by the window. Um, I think because our neighbor wants to kill us. Not gonna give you context for that, but that is something that is true. Next to that, we have this plant. Not doing too well. I may have removed a few stalks because they were looking quite scary to me and I was stressed. So I just ripped them out and put them in the bin. Next. Okay, I can't ignore, this is a cool, this is a cool rug. Look at my rug. I love my rug. Oh, it's a bit dirty. Look away from the rug. Next, we have my favorite part of the room. Big mirror! Very big. It was, it's called Hovag by Ikea. And I obsessed over it and it was sold out when I first wanted it and I got really upset. And I really wanted it. It was really the only thing that would make this room come together and then I ended up getting it. And now I have Hovag and I take all my selfies in the Hovag and I wake up every morning when I'm naked and take a selfie in the Hovag. I love her or him, or them, or them. On the Hovag, I have a bunch of Polaroids, which I really like. They're just some fun Polaroids of me and my friends, me and my family. And uh, this is the All Access Pass from my last tour in September. Best time of my life. It was so fun. We've got this uh, shiny rat art, which is really cool. And then the back of it is just the tour artwork. It was so cool. I felt so cool. Next is my desk, and it's full of my most personal and secret items, and I'm going to let you in on them. So, what we have, my laptop, cool laptop, we got a Mac, we've got a uh, humidifier, 
because I don't know what I'm allergic to, but my throat gets really dry in the winter. Maybe I'm allergic to the cold, uh, but I got a humidifier and it made my voice uh, feel much nicer. I also got a nebulizer for my throat. Next, we have this really cool lamp. I love this lamp, it's from Ikea, and then I just kind of have a, like a thing box. I got like, oh, what? The lamp. What about the lamp? Who else has the lamp? Do I need to let everyone know that you have the same lamp as And? Me? And that you got it first? And? Evan has the lamp, and Jamp has the lamp. There can, is, can there only be one man with a lamp? No, well, there's then, just one man that has the lamp first. I think there may be some unresolved <laughs> issues. Coming out right now. <laughs> so we got, uh, we got, uh, we got some, uh, we got a cool thing box. I keep my things in it. You got, uh, got some fidget toys. You know the classic fidget cube. It's fun and clickable. Uh, and then I kind of just like have things. I don't like things being out of order, and I don't like things not having their own place. Uh, so I kind of obsessively just bought a bunch of like storage boxes. I have so many of these and I just keep things in them. Uh, but you know, I got earphones, batteries, uh, uh, strepsils, um, floss, Polaroids, SD cards, that kind of stuff. Uh, you may be wondering why there is a glass of olive oil with a syringe on my bedside table. Are you wondering that? Uh, well, I have very waxy ears. Don't look at them. Don't look at them. No, 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 no. Please, no. This is not a good angle. So when I, I didn't, well, when I was a child, I had earache. And I just went to my school matron and she started putting olive oil in my ears and it helped great. Because uh, it doesn't dissolve the wax, but it, you know, it, it makes it less hard and horrible and disgusting. So I put olive oil in my ears. And then you just got my things. You got spray, got some CBD oil. Uh, literal lifesaver. I was going to have a panic attack. And then I had some of this, and I felt so chill. That's just me, though. Uh, that might not work for you. Uh, and then next to that, we've got my uh, testosterone. I rub this on my belly every morning, except for the, sometimes when I forget to, which is today. I forgot to do that, but I'll do that afterwards. And then next to that, isn't that so cool? I'm not trying to say that pills are cool. I just think organization is cool. I just love organization. Corey's looking at my, my, my drawers of pills, and he's probably thinking, they need to be in airtight containers. Probably right. N not gonna do anything about it, and I did Google it, and apparently it's fine, but don't take my advice and don't do this. I actually used to put them in like monthly planner stuff, um, but then I lost some of the monthly planner stuff, and the box kind of broke, and I got upset. So I bought this new draw set from Tiger, and it made me happy. Up here, we have some necklace stuff, and then, we have some earring stuff and some nail varnish. And then, draw by draw, we got some Ritalin. I am diagnosed with ADHD. Uh, I've been prescribed the Ritalin. It's mine, it's not yours. Next, we have uh, some methanamic acid, uh, which if you don't know what it is and you experience period pain very badly. When I was younger, I had period pain so bad that I would throw up, I'd have the sh I would pass out because the pain was so bad and it was really, really bad and I went to the doctor and they're like, okay, we can either put you on birth control, which I did not want to do because I didn't think I'd ever have sex. And then they're like, oh, we'll put you on methanamic acid and every time I get period pain, I just take some of them and it makes it so much better. Next, we have some vitamin D for that vitamin D deficiency that I have and I'm sure probably most of you have it as well. If you're watching this video, I assume you have a vitamin D deficiency. Then we got vitamin C. Love vitamin C. My personal trainer told me to take these supplements, by the way. And then we got some uh, lactase, which also fun fact about no offense. If I ever get a Wikipedia, which can someone make me a Wikipedia? I'm actually asking that right now because I have friends who have Wikipedia and I don't have Wikipedia and I want Wikipedia. If you make me a Wikipedia, can you please tell everyone that I'm lactose intolerant because I think it's a personality trait, but I have lactase tablets. I would just eat and drink dairy products and just all the time, 24-7, until I bought lactase tablets and I just take some lactase before I have some cheese or some yogurt and I don't as bad. Here is, uh, they're hay fever tablets and then a single iron. That's I iron, iron, I-R-O-N, not I-on. R-I-R-I-I-I-N. Next to the pills, what do we have? Got this thing, uh, which for maybe three days every morning I did this because apparently it's good for your face and then I forgot. Then we have a Mac. Uh, this is from 2011. It's cool for just listening to music on. It's actually Luke's, and I bought it off him, and now it's there. Then, here is my wall! Maybe j gesture with your arms. Here is my wall! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Here's my wall. Uh, we've got some really cool things right here. we got Kurt Cobain. I, I bought this when I was in boarding school, 
And I thought I was really cool, and every time somebody came into my dorm and I had posters all over the wall, I'd be like, yeah, I listen to music. But, the rest of the stuff on the wall, uh, we got some art from various friends, and some pictures, and some really cool stuff. Friend Jake did this, he also did this, and this, and then here is a drawing of Scab Bean and Alfie that somebody sent in. Uh, and you know, it's all really cool. I love the art. And here's this. So this is a beautiful painting of Scab Bean and Alfie that Cory got me for my birthday and he got it painted by Hannah Snow. And she did a great job. Uh, this is so cool. That's Alfie, that's Scab, and that's Bean. And this is the situation right now. Well, we'll get rid of his legs as well because they, really, <laughs> they don't really work very well either. But he's a very happy rat and he gets fed very Nice thing. This is art by my friend Leo. Uh, it's all very cool stuff. Got some Black Widow stuff. Very cool. Went to the premiere. Next, we have this part of my room, which I love. And it's kind of stayed the same in the past few rooms that I have had. So, what do we have, Cory? Up there, what do we have? This is a neck deep tapestry. It's a neck deep uh, wall poster. And everybody asks me where I got it from. Uh, people ask me if I can sell it to them. Apparently, people want it. Uh, but you can't have it. So I bought it in 2015 or 2016 off the Neck Deep website. And if it's sold out, then it's sold out. And it's mine. But yeah, I am, I am signed to the same record label as Neck Deep. Um, and my first Zoom call with Hopeless Records, I didn't realise that this was in the background. And I thought they'd think I was a massive suck up. Maybe they did. I'm, I'm still not entirely sure, but that's a funny story. Then... <laughs> We have a Story So Far wall poster. Uh, I love the Story So Far. As you can see, we have a Story So Far vinyl there. We've got a Story So Far vinyl there. Uh, story So Far vinyl there. But other than the Story So Far, we got uh, Panic of the Disco, Pretty Odd. Love that album. We got My Chemical Romance, I Brought You My Bullets, You Brought Me Your Love. That was my favourite album for so long. So good! Uh, we got Creepers album. We got The Prodigy. Uh, we got Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge. Again, by My Chemical Romance. Some people get surprised when they realise that I'm like a bit of an emo. I don't think it's surprising really. Uh, but those are my vinyls on the wall. I do actually have the actual vinyl records and I don't really play them to be honest. Ugh. Next, we have- Oh! I didn't show you the insides of my drawers. That's really important. What's in this drawer? T-shirt. Quite crazy, isn't it? Weren't expecting that one. What's in the second drawer, Cory? Trousers. Very good guess. In the bottom one, we kind of got shorts. There they are. Very <laughs> exciting and interesting. I also realised that I forgot about this. We have a uh, we have a friend that lives behind the corner here. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is our friend Alex Bertie, and he posted on Twitter that somebody had made cutouts of him. And I thought we we thought it'd be funny if we just bought one. Uh, and it was funny for like maybe two minutes, but now we just have this. And I get really emotionally attached to like things. And I don't really want to chuck it out. So he just lives behind my. Draws. Sorry, Alec. And then finally, we have some fugglers. Now, if you don't know what fugglers are, you're about to learn. They're very cute toys. They're called fugglers because they're f***ing ugly. Uh, and I've just got so many of them. I really, truly have so many of them. Uh, I haven't counted them, but there's quite a large amount. And then, you know, we've got, got, got this gal. Uh, I have four of these from when I was a child, and they're all called Stella because we had a boxer dog called Stella, and I, I just called all four of them Stella. Which reminds me of my blankies, which that's a very fun, cool story. Here are my rags. They're blankies. I got these the day I was born, and I sleep with them every single night, and they are like the cold side of a pillow, and I love them. Well, that's the end of the room tour. Do you know what you should do? You don't know what you should do. You should listen to my music. You should go on Spotify and type in no offence. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Have a good day or don't. See you later, losers. Get out of my room! Get out! Don't show them how messy it is outside of the room. I'm not, I'm not forcing it. Goodbye. Why are you still here?